What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with your daily gaming hype report. Today is Friday, June 28th, 2019, and here are the top gaming headlines that you need to know about. Remember, if you like any of the stories that I bring to you today, please go to the articles directly and support those incredible game journalists around the globe. Story links can be found in the show description below, so let's get into it. Here are the top four stories that you need to know about. Story number one, Apex Legends Season 2 Battle Charge trailer teases King's Canyon changes, monsters, and more. This story from IGN.com by Adam Bankhurst. The story reads, Two new Apex Legends trailers showcase what is in store for Season 2 of Respawn's Battle Royale game, including gameplay of the new Legend Watson, Leviathans, and Titanfall's flyers in King's Canyon, as well as an EMP attack on Repulsor. The first trailer is focused on the story behind Season 2 and includes Bangalore, Mirage, Octane, and the newest legend, Watson. The aforementioned EMP blast destroys a large tower that was keeping out the Flyers and Leviathans, and they are now invading the playable area of Kings Canyon. The second trailer is more focused on gameplay and details what players can expect from Apex Legends Season 2. We get our first look at King's Canyon following the EMP blast with some areas destroyed and others growing vegetation. We also see the Flyers and Leviathans in action as well as rewards from the new Battle Pass, the new weapon L-Star, new Skydive emotes, and new Ranked League. Apex Legends Season 2 will be released on July 2nd, 2019. Aw, oh, snap. I am so hyped up right now for Apex Legends Season 2 Battle Charge. Come on, y'all. I'm pumped up to hot drop into Kings Canyon with the new legend, Watson, who can put up awesome electrical fences that slow down her opponents and hurt them over time. And, of course, some crazy monsters invading Kings Canyon. Now, this is going to be fun. We've seen the dragons fly around with the loot boxes but now the leviathans those big scary ugly monsters out in the sea have now invaded the map and are stomping around throughout the gameplay and of course some new map updates we're going to see some vegetation growing up and we're going to see some new structures all around the map that are really going to add to a new dynamic gameplay i can't wait to get my hands on it and best of all that new hot skydive emote is so dope y'all you gotta check out these two trailers right now Give them a look and get ready for Apex Legends Season 2 dropping on July 2nd, 2019. We might have to bring back the Snowbike Mike Friday Night Apex Legends tournaments. What you say? Let me know in the comments if you want a hot drop into Kings Canyon with me and the squad. Story number two, Harry Potter Wizards Unite hosting first real world event later this summer. This story from GameSpot.com by Steve Watts. The story reads, Harry Potter Wizards Unite is off to a fast start, and soon you'll be able to meet up with other wizards and witches in real life as part of an official event. Niantic and WB Games have announced a real-world event of Wizards Unite to take place in Indianapolis starting on August 31st. During the event, participating SOS operatives can explore the White River State Park to find magical activities spilling over into the Muggle world. You'll be able to encounter fantastic beasts, find artifacts, and cast spells out in the wide space of the park. Tickets will be available for purchase, but Niantic appears to be expecting a crowd and will be setting up a lottery system for tickets. You can check the official event site for more details and watch for your chance to enter the lottery. The event will take place August 31st through September 1st. So, muggles, wizards, witches, everybody come and unite to cap off the end of summer 2019 out in Indianapolis, Indiana for a fun Harry Potter Wizards Unite real world event. We've seen Pokemon Go events all around the globe. Now, they're going to kick it off real quick for the Harry Potter Wizards Unite real event and I think this is going to be a fun time. I better go get my sunscreen, better go lace up my comfy shoes and get ready to run around a fun state park with all my fellow wizards and witches enjoying an awesome Harry Potter event. Let me know, are you guys interested in this? This is a pretty cool deal and I love that they're kicking it off right away. They want to cap off summer 2019 with a fun event like this. I know a lot of you are going to PAX West, but guess what? Options, options, options for all the gamers out there and everything that they love. 
You all remember last week when I hyped up Mario Battle Royale? Well, guess what? Story number three, there's a Flappy Bird Battle Royale game now, and it's good. This story from Kotaku.com by Ethan Gatch. The story reads, Flappy Royale released today in beta on mobile and PC by game designers Orta Therox, M. Laser Walker, and Zach Gage. The game seems like a lot of things. Clever, opportunistic, a joke, but it's also a lot of fun. Inspired by the 2013 mobile sensation Flappy Bird, Flappy Royale has you compete against 99 other poor souls to see who can survive the longest against a maze of deadly pipes. You can customize your look, and each level begins with all the Flappies dropping off a bus. Like the original game, you can tap the screen to make Flappy fly higher or do nothing to watch him sink, all as a part of an elaborate dance to avoid obstacles. Hit the ground or anything else and you're dead. The game's currently available to check out on iOS, Android, and in your web browser over on itch.io. So, make sure to check that out if you like the idea of Mario Battle Royale. I know y'all love Flappy Bird, and guess what? Flappy Bird Battle Royale is calling me. I've already downloaded it on my phone. I'm ready to tap, 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 to tap to become the best Flappy Bird Battle Royale player on the planet. This is a must check out. This brings a smile to my face and this gets me so hype heading into the weekend. I love it. I love it. I love it, y'all. And now for your final story of your Friday hype report, story number four. Budweiser applies to trademark, quote, the official beer of esports, End quote. This story from Kotaku.com by Dominic Mayer. The story reads, as growth industries go, it's difficult to come up with one that appeared as suddenly and has skyrocketed as rapidly as esports. From competitive Overwatch and League of Legends play to the team-affiliated NBA 2K League, professional video gaming is going mainstream in a big way. Esports leagues have been pulling down lucrative TV deals of late, with ESPN and Turner Broadcasting locking down early contracts with various competitive organizations. It then stands to reason that A-list sponsors will continue to jump on the lucrative new medium, and thus Budweiser has reportedly filed for a trademark on the phrase, quote, the official beer of esports, end quote, per the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office's online database. Oh boy, what a way to cap off our Friday Hype Report with Budweiser jumping in to the eSports League. I love seeing it. I love that A-list sponsors are getting eager and getting excited to be part of this awesome medium. Of course, Budweiser now wants to patent and take over the slogan, the official beer of eSports. And I love that. That's catchy. That's hot. And I'm all about it. I do know that Budweiser is already one of the main sponsors for the Overwatch League, and they also sponsor one of the NBA 2K League, Washington Wizards District Gaming, out there in D.C., so Budweiser getting a little elbow room right now, want to plant their flag early and become the official beer of esports? I'm all about that. Throw me a Budweiser, let's pop the top, and let's celebrate our Friday and our weekend right now with the official beer of esports. This is has been your hype report for Friday, June 28th, 2019. It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, reminding you that if you like any of the gaming headlines that I brought to you today, please go to the show description below. I've left you all the article links there. You can give them a click, support those incredible game journalists around the globe. And of course, you're now all caught up and ready for your weekend. The holiday is right around the corner. Next week is 4th of July, so go out there, have some fun drink responsibly if you're going to party that way and of course get ready for some more gaming headlines with your hype report starting on monday have a great one gamers see you later